say it's just real weak, Clark. Okay. How are you looking? All your systems go? That's affirmed, Clark. How about you, Control? We look good. Guidance, you happy? Go, go, systems. Spido, how about you? We're go. Roger. We're a little low, Clark. When NASA was developing uh, the Apollo program, one of the things they, they understood was that they were going to be sending missions up very frequently. And because of that, it was very important for them to be able to capture all of the interactions and the dynamics between all the people working collaboratively together. And so this was a, a big challenge. They recorded all of the audio through this multi-channel, 30-track uh, recording system called Soundscriber. We had put in a proposal to the National Science Foundation, and the focus of that proposal was basically to look at audio diarization So diarization, means who said what, when, and how. And we wanted to apply it to a real-life in, uh, situation. Inside Science. We turned to NASA because we felt the Apollo program would be one opportunity to see if we could get that audio. We went down to NASA, we expected them to hand us uh, you know, hard disks or point us to where we could download all the data and we'd be happy developing the algorithms. They pointed us, unfortunately, to the Soundscriber playback unit and said, well, there's the unit. We have the tapes all stored in, in, in storage here, and so you can see the tapes. So each of the tapes are typically 14 hours long. It would take you 14 hours to digitize one track. Each uh, tape has 30 tracks. So if you're looking at digitizing Apollo 11, Apollo 13, and some of the others, it would literally take 175 years digitizing continuously to get access to all the data. So I was a technician uh, before, put myself through, through college, and I said, I, I think I can do this. So I rolled up my sleeves, I crawled underneath and rewired the Soundscriber system personally myself. And once we did that, I placed my student there for about four months, and he digitized continuously for four months. And we pulled off 19,000 hours of audio, and then we developed a computerized pipeline that basically did all of the diarization, on all 19,000 hours. And so we were able to generate all the diarization, all the text transcripts from all of that data. Speech processing and the language technologies that might come out of this type of project hopefully will allow us to better understand how people solve challenging problems and hopefully encourage young people to go into STEM-based domains. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.